Well, I just want to say a big hello to everyone, and um, welcome, welcome to guitarspeople.com, and thanks for uh, spending this moment with me. Um, now, this video is about our um, guitar widget. It's a uh, it's a special tool. It's found at the bottom of every uh, page at guitarspeople.com. And it has over 1,500 chords built right into it. Now here's the bottom of the of our page at guitarspeople.com. Uh, and as you can see, I have an A minor here. Now I want to show you guys what this tool can do. Um, it's for the beginner, but it's also for the advanced, uh, intermediate, and advanced players too. So if you're an advanced player, just bear with us for a second. And um, let me show you how, how to use this. Now, first of all, right now we have an A minor, and so it tells you where you put your fingers, uh, what strings to use your fingers on, what fingers to use, the frets, uh, the actual name of every note that you're playing. Now, if you're just starting out and you want to see the best way to, to use this tool, go get a book on uh, your favorite music, your favorite um, your favorite band, and they're going to have little chords there by the, by the words, you know, in the, in the chord book, and just come to guitarsequel.com, get down to the bottom of any page, and play with this tool, I mean, you know, this is going to, it's got 1500 chords in here, I mean, it's going to show you whatever you need, here's all your major chords, there's your D, there's the old, uh, the old C chord right there, but you know, it's that. So, uh, there's your A chord, so, you know. Now, as far as advanced people, uh, guitars, um, actually this is pretty cool too. Now, I'm going to show you why right now. I'm going to go back to the A minor, and I'm going to show you a use for this. Okay, let's say you have a song that you've written, and a friend of yours comes over, and you guys jam all the time, for example. Uh, let's say your song starts in A minor, and this is the one you use. Well, this chord widget also has six voicings uh, for every chord. So now, this is your common A minor. I'm going to show everybody all the voicings. Uh, there's your second voicing right there. Alright, here's your third one. Well, there's your you can see it's a bar chord. It's on the fifth fret. And uh, now I use this on uh, with an electric, electric guitar more than an acoustic myself, um, just because you can control all the strings. I like the sound of it. Um, so you got a song. Your friends are coming to visit. You're gonna jam on the ninth fret night. Let's say if you pluck every one of those strings, you know, and kind of just in time with, with while you play the original A minor chord. I mean, those two are gonna sound great together. It's the same chord, just a different voicing. Um, if you want to layer another track onto uh, recordings that you've done, you know, this is a way to expand your, your music now. Um, like I said, it's got, all, it's got all the chords. Now look at that, look at that D minor. Now that's interesting. Now I'd say, how, how about you get somebody to come over and play that chord on the 12th fret? Just pluck every string while you do your regular D minor here that everybody's used to, you know, so. Again, there's a lot of uses for this uh, for this on the bottom uh, of every page at guitarspeople.com. I'm the last man. Uh, got to spin this one time. Now I got most of the stuff. <laughs> I gotta say, oh, that's a good time right there, folks. Come and spin the old uh, last man likes uh, <laughs> line, line six. Got to have it. You know what I mean? Uh, this this has got to have a wah wah pedal. And yeah, that is that is me. That's me and uh, D-Lo back there that you're listening to. So, um, all right, folks. I guess that's about it. Don't forget, guitarspeople.com. Come use the widget. Rock on, brother. <laughs>